Hi, Mike here, KK6WBS, and I am going to hook up a amplifier today to my ICOM 705. This is the Micro PA50. It's a 50 watt amp, and I got it at AliExpress, so it's um, probably not the highest quality amp, but I have read some decent reviews on it, so I want to check it out. So since I've never hooked up an amplifier to an HF rig, um, I was a little worried about how to connect it. I think I have it right. If I don't and I blow something up, then I guess it's a rookie mistake. Um, I hope I don't do that, by the way. I'm gonna go to the back of the connections and see what we got here. I am using an antenna switcher because I do have two antennas I'm using, a DX Commander and a ZS6 VKW dipole. So what I do, what I have here is I have the output of the transmitter going in to the TRX input on the amp and the output, the antenna output is going into my LDG antenna tuner. You can see down there, going in into there, which is says TX. Okay, and then from the output of the tuner is going into my, my three antenna switcher. I'm only using two antennas today. So all I gotta do now is just provide some power to the amplifier and I'm gonna do that with this um, battery and I'll get that connected up and see if we get power. Okay, so I have everything hooked up. I'm having a little bit of a problem with the ACC cable. When I plug it in, it puts the amp into bypass mode and it starts to fluctuate between auto and ICOM. Let me show you on the amp. You see? So it put it in bypass and now you can see it kind of flickering back and forth between auto and ICOM. So I don't know why that is. And I think what it's supposed to do is allow automatic band switching. So when you key the mic, it, it I'm pretty sure what it's supposed to do is change the frequency in the amp. Um, so in order to change the frequency in the amp, you have to um, hit the button three times. So there's 80. Oops. You have to do it really fast too. Oop. Now I can't even get it right. There, there you go, 40. There's 20. So, and then you hold it down a little bit longer and you can, that'll turn the amp off. Let me go ahead and just tune up here. Okay. So it looked like that signal when I tuned up, it looked like it was giving me nine watts. Let me do that again. Yeah, almost 10 watts. Okay, so maybe there's not a problem. So I'm gonna back this thing down to 50. And let's see if I can make a contact. Kilowatt India 7 Golf Oscar Hotel. I hope I got that right. Um, this is Mike, I'm out in California, and I'm just testing out a small little amplifier for my ICOM 705. I, I'm getting a lot of, uh, like a squeal on this frequency. I don't know if I, I might need to change it, but um, your signal's really good. Um, I just am curious how my signal's sounding running through this amplifier, over. So I didn't have a lot of time to work with it today because um, there was some contests going on and I didn't really want to get involved in any of that. Um, the bands were kind of busy, but I just felt like um, it just wasn't a good day to have somebody test the amp, you know. So uh, I will be coming back again and doing another video on the PA50 Plus and... Um, uh, I'm pretty optimistic about it. I think it's um, it's going to be a pretty good little addition to my 705, just to give me a little bit more power, um, you know, when I'm out in the field, uh, maybe just to get get over a little bit of the pileups. Um, I don't think it's going to help immensely, but every little bit will help. Um, so 
Again, thanks for watching. I'll come back with another video on this PA50 Plus, and I appreciate uh, the support. 73, everybody.